channel, channel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Tia, and we're doing a car vlog. I just wanted to do this quick car vlog because I get this question quite a lot. Um, so I figured I'd make a video on it and then be able to just link it for people because I answer the same question often. So obviously people have questions. So, uh, in this car vlog, we're going to talk about what yaki means when it comes to wig texture and why I personally prefer a yaki texture. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about. So yaki is a term and this wig here is a yaki textured wig. Um, some examples of yaki textured wigs would be um, some of my free trust wigs like below me. Um, I think it's Model Models Jestic. Uh, free trust equals January. Those are all yaki textures. So what that is, is the yakiness, there is some grip to it. There is some texture to it. It's not like a silky wig where you could, where it's silky or shiny, or you can just, you know, run your hands on the outside and it just slips on down. Um, and it's, it's supposed to mimic if you had natural curly hair, um, Course or otherwise, if you had natural curly hair and you sort of blew it out without, you know, before you put a lot of the styling stuff in, um, that's what it would feel like. The reason I, so some people like yaki hair or yaki textured wigs because they would more mimic their natural hair. Great. Um, I do have a lot of women here who have non textured hair that are on my channel and asking questions and. <clears throat> Yes, I have natural curly hair, but my hair isn't overly coarse. So someone had asked me, like, you know, because they have non-textured hair, they're a Caucasian woman, should they avoid yaki textured wigs? And uh, my blanket answer is no. And this is the reason. Um, as you can see, it, for me, a yaki textured wig, A, it lasts longer, um, B, it doesn't tangle as much because there is some grip to the fibers and when you're choosing wig fibers you have to put it in the context of fibers like actual fibers not hair okay um, so a silkier fiber on a silkier fiber is gonna rub it's gonna move and that's where you get a lot of the tangling if you have a, a little bit of a grip on a wig then it's not going to tangle as much. And also like I can easily run my th hands through this and then do sort of like this and place it where I wanna place it. And because there's a little bit of a grip to the fiber, it sort of stays a little bit better. I think they last longer. Um, what you might wanna look for if you have non-textured hair and you wanna kind of stay a little bit more realistic is look for ones that are like a y light yakky texture. I would say these are a light, this is a lighter yakky texture where there is a little bit of silkiness in it. Um, when I am describing a yaki, a light yaki textured wig that seems protein infused, it's like if you had natural curly hair that you blew out and then um, had like a keratin treatment on it or something, hot oil treatment, those are the textures that you want. So it's going to have still a little bit of the silkiness, but it's going to still have the grip so that it doesn't get caught, so that it, um, it easily combs out, so that it's not going to um, tangle as much. And so, you know, those are some pros. You can have more of a full yaki textured, and some wig reviewers would describe that as um, if you had coarse hair that was relaxed. Um, they're often a little bit thicker because if you have coarse hair and then you relax it, there's a lot of hair there. You know, before it was just curled. So those would be maybe the differences where you want to check it out. But I would not suggest necessarily discounting any wig that's a yaki texture. Um, especially a light yaki texture because it's actually going to make the wig wearing a lot longer and easier and better and more fun for you because you're not going to have to worry about it getting tangled all the time or extra weird shininess or anything like that. If you still really want to wear silkier textured wigs but like the tangling the shine does bother you, you can do, um, oh and also silkier textured wigs tend to get flyaways. Um, just like really fine hair would and so one thing that you can do is you can spray the wig with dry shampoo um, when I review a silkier wig I usually do that spray the spray the wig with dry shampoo it's just like what it would do to your normal hair it kind of dirties it up so it's gonna give sort of that faux grip 
Um, that will take down the tank like a little bit. The other thing is you can use hairspray once you have it in place, especially if it's like a straighter wig. Just go ahead and, and spray the hair and then just pull your hand through um, to disperse that spray. And then that hairspray can kind of, you know, I don't want to say meld, but it will, just like with your own hair, it will freeze onto the hair and keep the fibers together a little bit more. So that could reduce tangling. But overall, if you have a really silky wig, especially if it's straight, it's, it's gonna tangle. Um, so that's why I lean more towards uh, at least a yite, yite, light, yakky texture on my wig. So there you go. Little, what is yakky? What is it when people are describing that? And also pros and cons. Um, well, not cons, pros. And I don't really have a con to a yakky texture versus a silky texture at all. Uh, but for the fact if you want it to look natural, like your exact natural hair. Um, but for the most part, most people don't notice. Um, like I said, because it is fiber, so it's going to really be the color of the wig and that sort of thing that's going to mimic your natural hair or if it's straight or not straight or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's my little what is yakky and why I love it. If you have another topic that you would like for a car vlog, please put that down below. Um, if you have any thoughts or opinions on yakky textures or yakky versus silky textures, also put that down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, thanks so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.